Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my review of NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 3. It was good. Alex, what did you think? It was very good. So get up! Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Wrestling HQ and the Rory Mills channel. It is me, your rad champion. Not Alex. for long. And, um... I'm joined by, of course, the man, the myth legend, known for his name, because his channel's called his name. It's Robbie Mills. Say hello. Ah, hey guys, it's Robbie Wrestling here. Oh, fuck yeah, off. Most of you probably don't know what that joke means, but it's all good. Um, um, this is our stack predictions. I've got the card right here, so we're just going to go straight into this. But before that, if you're wondering, because I don't know why you stumbled across the video, how you can watch stack, you can watch it on What Culture Extra for... Six ninety nine. Six ninety nine a month, and you can watch it on Fight TV on a one-time purchase of fourteen ninety nine. Also, it, okay, so the main show starts at seven fifteen UK time. That's two fifteen Eastern time, and then at one forty five Eastern time or six forty five UK time, you can watch the pre-show on the WCPW YouTube channel, not What Culture Wrestling. WCPW has officially split from What Culture Wrestling, and it's all on the WCPW channel yeah. now, including um, the World Cup, which I do agree with. I agree with that decision. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, isn't What Culture Wrestling doing a free week at the minute? So if you sign up right now, you'll get stacked for free. Yes, What Culture Extra is basically doing what the network does, except they're not fucking stupid about it, and they don't give you a free month. <laughs> um, but it's all good. Uh, so... Let's uh, okay. let's kick this bad boy off. So first of all, um, this is just a mini prediction that I've added. So Mr. Joe Hendry's coming out, um, in on the pre show to uh, celebrate his award. Congratulations, Joe Hendry, seriously, man. Yeah, actually, big... congratulations to Joe for that. Yeah, well um, deserved. Well deserved. He's gonna go out and celebrate his award, but he's also adding uh, a guy to the prestige. He's gonna be sending an invitation to someone for the prestige. Uh, yeah, we don't. We actually don't know who it is. We, I. We... I think it might be, uh, I, I don't want it to be, but maybe Will Ospreay. Yeah. Um, Will Ospreay, I think what he might, like, this is just a prediction that I have, I think what he might do is he might accept it early on in the night, that in the main event they turn to Swarm Mighty, he turns Bayface, they start kicking ass. That'd be really nice, I would really like yeah. that. Yeah, that would be like, cause, That you would know, be like... Because, you know... I wouldn't... I wouldn't... Like, it would be... Like, we both think that Will had an organic face turn in the match against War Machine. But let's do something that solidifies him as a babyface. Because let's face it, Marty Skrull, sure, his nickname is the fucking villain. But oh, he's, be, not the he fuck, he's not the fucking I'm, villain. He's the villain. Um, and... So, so, like, you can argue... But but still, Marty, without a doubt, is a fan fav a fan favorite. Excuse me, and he's a uh, and he's well liked by the WCPW audience. So and and they've and Marty's pretty much been a face uh, lately against like Joe Hendry, yep. and uh, yep. so this could be like Will's official baby face turn. If you know one thing, I mean. one thing I don't want is for him to say no, and then later on in the night. Right, because oh, he's done that before. They've got us... Because they've played that card too many times. And, and, Will Ospreay's done that shit before in WCPW. Yep, you might want to... You might want to... Uh, my door's open and my sister's talking. You might want to put like, edit this up. Just in case. Uh, you can hear it. If you can, that's fine. But no, uh, you, you couldn't. You couldn't hear it, uh, so don't worry. It's all good. I, um, But, like, yeah. And, you know, it, I just don't want it to be the whole... Because, uh, especially with the same fucking guy. Right, because, you know, uh, again, Will's done this before with Pachiti Club, where earlier uh, tonight, loaded 15 uh, to be exact, he he told, in fact, he told Pachiti if he came out during his match with Kirby, he'll whoop his ass. I don't remember exactly what he said, but okay. if you round it up, he basically said, I'll whoop his ass. On In that segment, I like it when uh, you show me this, be a good Pachiti head, you put it on your Twitter or something. Right, 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 right. Uh, I thought that was I thought that shit was hilarious. Because Will, Will just looks at Adam and he's like, "What did you just call me?" <laughs> I thought it was just fucking the, hilarious. The general like, Jared and Pachiti stuff, yes, it got irritating, but but when he first turned heel, genuinely, he was underappreciated. I thought it was a great. Man, I didn't think okay. it was irritating. Like 
sure you can argue it was irritating, but he was supposed was, to be irritating. You I, know, that was it, Adam's character. Wasn't supposed to take him seriously. <laughs> right, right. He was a chicken but shit like, general manager. Like uh, the one thing about him is, even though he wouldn't take him seriously, until his end, he always found a way to get the job done. Right. Uh, but anyway, we've got to get into our first matches here, and of course, because the internet championship is for free. Because thank you to Daddy Eric Bischoff. A E B. Um, he uh, now has allowed every internet title championship match to be free. Uh, so we have our champion, Gabriel Kitt, going up against a, a representative of the Pro Wrestling World Cup of the German leg, Lucky Kid. Lucky Kid would be facing Hiromu Takahashi, right? And I don't think he'll go very far. Um, I think he'll probably get beat by Takahashi, if I'm being honest with you. Yeah, I mean, Takahashi's lost his cap, so he's kind of gone a bit... No, Daryl's back. He's back? Yeah, they, uh... He now has a band-aid on. He's back. I know he, I know he uh, had surgery. Um, Daryl's alive, you guys. Daryl's alive. Um, he made out. He he was repaired. He had surgery, but I don't know. I don't watch New Jersey. <laughs> um, but yeah. I I don't think that Lucky Kid's gonna win the belt. I mean, it could be a shock win, but I think I'm gonna go. Gabe retains here. Same. Um, It'd be really fucking cool if Lucky Kid won, but nah. I don't. I next don't up, we happen. have. Next up, I believe this, this is me imagining, but an elimination triple threat match. J. Lethal, Angelico, and Drake. That's correct, it is elimination. Uh, I thought it was. A, I thought they announced it as being an elimination. In the they did, they did, they did, they did. Okay, so I didn't just come up with that. Right, right. This, this match would be insane, because one of the, probably the most underrated wrestler on the WCPW roster is Drake. I think I can agree with that. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll stand by that. Yeah, I... There are some WCPW marks that exist out there that really love Drake. As I said in this week in WCPW, I don't want to reference that, but I watched it recently, so it's fresh in my mind. But they were like, there's a, there's a, there's a corner to uh, uh, referencing uh, that we want Drake to be fresh. But the main crowd, only a few of them pop. Right. Uh, I mean, like, it's understandable, but if you, Drake, I Drake's pretty good in the ring. Yeah. And if you think on it, this is this this match could make Drake really. This match could make him right. He's which is against... which uh, this this match could uh, completely make Drake, and uh, that's why I'm saying Drake's gonna win. He's probably gonna get a roll. Actually, no, it's a fucking elimination. Shit. Um, I don't want to say Lethal's gonna win because that'll be too obvious. Um. I'm gonna say, okay. I'm gonna say Angelico gets eliminated by somebody. I don't know who. And Drake. Drake, sure. Get and Drake, uh, like, rolls up, lethal, something like that. Uh, and then that'll build to a match at a refuse to lose. I'm gonna go lethal here. You know, I think what they'll do is they'll allow Drake to uh, get the pin on Angelico because of obviously they faced before, so he'll get. His win back, but I don't think he'll get a clean win. I think it'll just be, oh, he pinned him somehow. Um, but I think Lethal's going to win it because I don't think they want this Drake thing to continue. And I think they want to have Lethal and Legero refuse to lose. Mm, I mean, I see where you're coming from, but I think they're going to have. Uh, I think they're going to have Kirby versus Legero at refuse to lose for the fucking briefcase. They could have. Nah, nah, man. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see when we get there. But uh, I yeah. have Drake, um, you have Jay Lethal. I, I need to write these down. I think what they would have done is they would have made a Fatal 4 way, obviously, but Legero wasn't available, or maybe. I think, you know, two baby faces, two heels, I think that would have worked. But bad. Uh, two members of the Prestige aren't here, Joe Coffey and um, Legero. Yeah, uh, let me really quickly just uh, write uh, the shite down. Uh, by the way, I just want to say this is uh, a celebrity died in the UK. He's a very well-known presenter, Sir Bruce Thorside. He died. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, this guy, he, had, you know, the TV show Dancing with the Stars, right? Yes. Like you, he did the English version of that, but he also was well-known for like children's shows and things. So he was very um, prominent when I was a child. Mm. Um, and he recently passed away at the grand age of ninety-six. So uh, um, rest in peace. Rest in peace, Sir Bruce. Uh, uh, the recipe's him, but we move on to 
the next match on the card, the... Oh, uh, just to end the bad news here, also, get well soon, Ric Flair. Oh, yeah, 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 get well soon, Ric. I, like, have we ever, have we actually said that in the video yet? <laughs> I don't think we've made a video since... Have we made a video since Rick his stuff was announced? I've only made one video in the last week, and that was the... Actually, not counting the SummerSlam predictions, we did the Loaded review. Yeah, if you want to see the SummerSlam predictions on my end, because Robbie didn't upload them to my channel, you cop. Just look uh, at my channel. Yeah, they're on his. It, um, the video looks like shit. I don't know why. I rendered it in 720p. Uh, but just watch the video. It's all good. But anyway, we go. We move on to a represent re represent uh, the, a qualifying match for the Pro Wrestling World Cup representatives. Not a, not uh, a not a qualifying match. This is a showcase match for the World Cup. No, no, that's the one I was looking for. A showcase match for the Pro Wrestling World Cup. There we have to call Mike Bailey versus Harumu Takahashi. In case you don't <laughs> know, uh, the next night on the. In case you guys don't know, in general, um. The Where Pro Wrestling been? World Cup Finals are going to be live on the 23rd, 24th, and 26th of uh, August, which is uh, this week. It's, we it, it's like, literally, it's this week in WCPW, it's Tuesday Stacked, Wednesday World Cup, Thursday World Cup, Saturday World Cup. Oh, which just shows we're going to be seeing live. They're doing a fucking load of taping on Friday. <laughs> so, like, Jesus. They have a busy week. But um, I Mike Bailey is going to be facing... Uh, Shit, 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 shit. Travis Banks? Travis Banks. Travis Banks, and as we said earlier, Hiromu Takahashi is going to be facing Lucky Kid, but they face uh, at Stacked against each other. Uh, who do you have, and why do you have them? The question I have is, do you know what time the Pro Wrestling World Cup shows are airing? <sighs> um, the round of 16 starts at... Well, seven your time, I think. I remember seeing that on the promo. Um. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's seven. Uh, uh, UK time, two p.m. Eastern. Um. But who do you have? Why do you have the one you have? I have uh. Mm, I I have Speedball Mike Bailey. Uh. Simply for the fact that I don't think he's going through the next night, and I think they want to give him like a rub over Takahashi, who's going to go through, and also like he, Takahashi can take a loss, whereas Mike Bailey's kind of that underdog, and I think he won't win uh, that 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 like uh, conclusively, but I think he'll just like get a lucky moment. Right, right. Uh, I think I'm I think I'm going to agree with you. I also have Mike Bailey. Um, yeah, for the for the same reason, really. Um, so, well, by yeah. the way, Akahashi could anyone. This card is unpredictable as shit. Apart from perhaps the tag team title match. Um, right, like me and you agree on Bailey versus Takahashi, but literally it could go either way. Yep. Um. Sure. Uh, who did you have for the triple threat? I can't remember. I had a little. I had Drake. Ah. Um. Sorry, but yeah. Again, I think this match could steal the show. By the way, the people at home are seeing the same picture on screen. You have the card in front of you. Look at yeah. the triple threat, and uh, you see how, like, well, not to look at the triple threat. You see how, like, on the whole card, where it says versus, it's this red, red and right? white one on the... Yeah, that's pissing me off now. Um, yeah. But um, it's all good. Remember but in Hendry no Mania, when the poster... Uh, everyone was, like, normal color, but for some reason, Martin Kirby was in black and white. Yep. Whatever. <laughs> Who cares? Um, Alright. All right. Next up, we have Penta El Zero Miedo! I love saying that. Penta El Zero. <laughs> no, Miedo. Um, this is Rampage. Uh, who do you have and why? Man, like, I, I think it's a hard one. I know exactly who I'm going with straight off the bat. Who are you going with? I'm gonna go with uh, Pentel. I want to say the same thing. Uh, <laughs> Rampage, I think, deserves a win. I mean, hey, why? Why? For the fact that Penta, not only is he in the. <laughs> Hang on, we'll, we'll let this. Shut up, doggy. Are back. We got Alex's dog to shut the hell up. Um. Uh, 
So my reasoning for picking Penta L zero M is because he's in the World Cup. They want to keep him strong. Not only because it's obviously he's a World Cup participant, but he's facing bad bones. That is true. And I think you know if he takes a loss to Rampage, who didn't qualify for the Wrestling World Cup, for Wrestling Vital Cup, it will affect him. I agree with that, and uh, that's why I'm picking Penta as well. It's a shame Rampage does deserve to pick up wins, but I think he's going to do well soon. Yeah, but I'd like a voice crack. Oh, jeez. Um, yeah, man, I think, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> um, I think, you know, the crowd love him, so they're going to probably put some kind of form of title on him or something. Um, but, like... Penta man, he's going up against Bad Bones. They don't. They want to make him look strong going into that match, because obviously Bad Bones is a crazy motherfucker. Uh, right. And that that could just change everything. I remember tweeting. Um, I don't remember what show it was after. I think it was Henry Mania. I tweeted out that Bad Bones must just really like being in pain, and uh, the fucker retweeted it. So there you go. Um. All right. Our oh, next match is kind of a loaded storyline match for some of these just kind of... A like, loaded story... <laughs> a storyline? A, a build-up? WCPW? Yeah, so, uh, nah, dude, you're out of your fucking mind. Uh, Alex, it's Alex Lacey versus Martin Kirby. Can we just talk about how good this bit this has been built up in one fucking week? Yeah, like, <laughs> sure, this match has only had one week of build-up, but it's been a good build-up, though. Uh, I mean, Martin, Alex Kirby, could... Martin Kirby has a reason to be pissed at Gracie. Gracie has a reason to be pissed at Kirby. It's all yeah. good. Uh, yeah, I mean, we just talk about how Gracie has become the second best heel in WCPW in like a matter of weeks. Right. I listened to his um, interview with Adam Wilborn on What Culture Extra uh, 699. I listened to that. Huh? I haven't, I haven't listened to that it's yet. It's a really good interview. Not... Um... Uh, Wilborn brings up uh, Lucas Archer and Alex Gracie's reasoning for like hitting uh, Archer with the fall from Gracie that's what it's called um, the unprettier is uh, because he he says that he still loves Lucas Archer to death but he knew that if he didn't do something he would have been cast away to the side and forgotten about. So he decided to do something, and he pointed out, like, notice how I didn't go after his knee, because his knee is injured. Uh, so I didn't. It was not personal. So I, if you guys have extra, uh, I highly recommend giving that interview a listen. Can I just say that? Can I just say that is how you make a heel make sense and still be a dick. Right. Because you that don't do the... that to your friend, but still. No, can I just say? I just say that is actually the perfect booking of a heel. Right. You know, like that's like I'm sorry, but I'm gonna bring up the WWE card again. The fuck are you doing with Gallows and Anderson? Like we were like, why do you do it? Why are they? I thought they were baby faces. <laughs> yeah, and now you know you just do that. That is a good tag team break. Obviously, we knew Lucas Archer is injured. Brackets. Um, like, is there problems with him in WCPW? I don't know. Um, but like, um, like. That makes sense. Like that's literally planned out. Like he's still so I gather when Lucas Archer comes back, he's gonna be like, "Ah, oh, I love you, man." You know that kind of thing. Grace and Lucas Archer will have none of it. Gracie, can, Gracie's I, gonna, Gracie's gonna be like, "Man, it's so good to see you. How've you been?" And Archer's gonna be like, "Go fuck yourself, buddy," and just uh, kick the shit uh, out of him. Uh, I'm gonna go Gracie here. I think Gracie, up and up and up. I think Gracie's gonna win it. I think Kirby's gonna win, and the reason why Kirby's gonna win is because of a run-in from Lucas Archer. And that's going to set up to a match at Refuse to Lose. That's possible, but I'd also like... Uh, yeah, that's possible. I would like uh, Gracie that... to win, too, don't get me wrong, but I think if they're going to bring back Archer, because Archer's not retired, you guys. Look at his yeah. fucking Twitter. <laughs> Just look at his Twitter. He's not retired. Um, yeah, like... Can I, can I also say, like... You know when, like, um, I... I a month ago, we were all oh, Gracie just recently turned here. He's nothing. Now, he could be the second best two in the company behind Joe Hendry, and I will stand by that. I the rest could of, agree with that. 
rest of the prestige, like, they're good heels, but they don't get as much time as Joe Hendry, so obviously, like, you know, they're, they're like, eh, they're kind of just his lackeys, believe it or not. Like, I don't want to say it like that, but it's kind of true. Yeah. Um, whereas Gracie's doing it by himself. He's made himself from the lower mid card to now a place where you do not know what this fuck is going to do. Right, so, and also, I really like a heel with reasoning. Yeah, but like, I, don't, like, I don't like heel turns just for the sake of heel turns, and that's what it felt like Alex Gracie did. Um, but you know, after listening to the interview, he had a reason. Can I, you know, can I also he still just... loves Lucas. You know, else... and 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 uh, Wilborn also like at the end of the interview said like, uh, "Do you have a message for uh, Lucas?" And uh, Alex was like, "Yeah, I do, Lucas. If you're listening to this, you know, I love you, bro." Uh, I hope your knee is doing well, and I hope everything's going the way you wanted it to after you decided to leave. So, like, literally, Alex is, in my opinion, I, I think he's a great... I think his character is one of the best in WCBW at the moment. Yeah, yeah, and also, can I just talk about how much I love these interviews after Loaded? Because they don't... Uh, okay, the Scott Wayne one did break KFA, but the last two... Haven't broke kayfabe, but they go behind the matches still. Right. Like, Carrick, like, they use their characters to talk about how they plan what they do. And I fucking, because most interviews, it's like, how you doing, man? You know, you've done this, you've done this, what's next for you? But these, like, these interviews, like, why, like, why did you do, like, reasonings and things? Like, you know, it's just... Right, right. And also, um, man, I, like, I'm saying this now, I want Gracie to be the next internet champion. Yeah. Anyone, I'm look, if I'm looking at it now, if anyone to take that belt off Gabriel Kidd, Alex Gracie. I can agree with that, yeah. I uh, think Alex Gracie should be internet champion, and I even <laughs> think one day he might be able to be WCPW champion. Yeah, I mean, it's going on the up right now. I don't think Kidd should lose it yet. Um, I don't right. think he'll lose it till the show that replaces the elite WCPW, because that was after Refuse to Lose, right? Am I wrong? Uh... You're right. Technically, the next special show was... Ah, shit. No, True Legacy was after Refuse to Lose. Ah, or, actually, no. Yeah, no, I was completely right. Uh, True Legacy was the next special show after Refuse to Lose. So, But, you know, they're probably going to get rid of that show. and They're going to put a new name on Delete WCPW. What name could they put on it? They'll have to make a new name for it, because all of the shows that they could use, like Lights Out, No Regrets, that's 2017... And uh, they're gonna wait till next year to use those names, I assume. Yeah. Unless they're gonna pull a roadblock. Um, but well, I don't think they will. Well, to put chain reaction there because chain reaction and um, like exit wounds took place within like a week of each other. Well, sure, but they were they were still in the in this year, so I don't think they should use those. Yeah, good point. But yeah, man, that you're going you're going Kirby. I'm going Kirby, and you said you were going Gracie? Yeah, I'm going Let Gracie. Let me write those down real quick. Gracie. Kirby. Alright, so next match. For... We have Hardcore Chip. This is actually a uh, a match that has been actually allowed. It's so just a random. Is it a title match? This is definitely a title match. For the, uh, this is a rematch of the title, I'm going to call it Primate vs. BT Gun. Uh, in a ring this fun. time. In a wrestling ring this time. Did we fucking cut? Not a boxing ring? Oh. Uh, I think Primate's gonna retain the title on this one. Mm. Like, I think this shit's gonna be fucking brutal. But I have Primate. Yeah, I, I don't know, because obviously Primate retained last time. And that's what I'm thinking. Will they make BT Gun lose twice? Well, they're not gonna make BT Gun look weak. Like, the match is gonna be fucking brutal. You know, like Jimmy Havoc. <laughs> it's difficult, but I'm going to say, to save my ass and to save my belt, I'm going to go primate. Go uh, primate. I, like, I don't, like, uh, this, the match after this one, like, we can't really talk about the build-up to this match, because it's kind of bizarre. <laughs> right, they, it's they, they um, like, uh, on the, on the, on the first episode of Loaded, on the, re on the, uh, reboot, um, they, 
they were in the tag team match, they brawled until they went backstage, and the next week they were on a backstage brawl, and then the next week they didn't really do anything. Um, so. Yeah. Um, but they have this match for the hardcore title and steaked. Um, yep. Yeah. This next match we have now, I, I, I could go either way. Like, this is the one where you're like, who the fuck? Um, Travis Banks versus Kushida. Yeah, this is a difficult one, isn't it? Um, this, like, this, again, could go either way. And I cannot wait for this match. Right. Um, I, I have... You know, this match is going to be uh, great either way, no matter who wins. But I think uh, Kushida is going to win. I think Travis Banks. You have Travis Banks. Definitely for the fact that um, BT Gun got defeated earlier on the night. In my prediction, I think they want to keep the prestige looking as strong as possible. Um, so, I'm going to go Travis. Um, I see where I don't you're coming from. I don't think this will hurt Kushida because Travis Banks is one of the strong star tournament. So it's not like Travis Banks is a no name uh, in the pro wrestling world. Sure. Um, so I, I think obviously this won't hurt Kushida. I think obviously Kushida is finally putting people over. Obviously, I think he's going through the next night as well, as well as Travis. But you know, I just think it, Travis has got to get a win here. I think, especially if Mike Bailey wins earlier on in the night. I yeah, I, I I see where uh, you're coming from, like. Uh, the reason why I have Kushida is just like, you know, he's a big name in, in, uh, in, in New Japan, and, you know, he holds one of he holds one of the IWGP titles. Not sure which one. Um, Same as next and he's the And he's the Ring of Honor TV title. He beat Marty for it. Um, so, I, yeah, not, I, I, I think Kushida's going to win. Look, I'm not saying it's like, like it's going to be like a beatdown. I think right, Travis right. does heel tactics to get a win. Um, sure. So they, the way I've been predicting this is very baby face heavy, like very. So I think they want to make a heel one. Sure, yeah, I, I agree. With, I, I see where you're coming from. I don't agree, uh, but but I see where you're yeah. coming from. But if I had to pick match a match that could take match in the night, I have to go with this one. Right, 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 right. I think it will be. Well, actually, no, no, I don't. I, I, right. we'll, we'll get to that. Ray Ray and Ricky Shea are in are on this card, but Ray can't move as well as he has done before. And I think what? the match of the night is going to be Marty versus Will, but we'll get to that next matchup on the card for the WCPW Tag Team Titles. We have the current champions, War Machine, defending against debuting in WCPW ROH Royalty, the Briscoes. Um, this is. I'm going to go War Machine. There is no way. Right. I'm going to do the same thing, but the, the Briscoes. From what I've seen of them, they're very good. Alex really hasn't seen any much of them, uh, but I think they're really good. But you I, know, I I think the Briscoes probably just going to be more of like a like a one time thing in WCPW. It'd be cool if they were you know around. Because Ring of Honor are in town for the next week or so. So right, it'd be cool if they were around, but I don't know. Uh, but I'm going War Machine. That's why Cody Rhodes is going to turn up at the World Cup. Mm. <laughs> That's true. Um. Oh, you know, Christopher Daniels. Mm. Who knows? Who knows? Then they're going to get someone Ring of Honor in town. Like... Yeah, I'll get somebody. Well, actually, do you know that they're around for, like, the next week? Yeah. All right. Um, well, I, I, the only match I saw at the Briscoes was when they teamed with Bully Ray at Best in the World, you know, the show where Cody Rhodes won the Ring of Honor. That's the only match I've seen there. And they were impressive, but I don't think anyone could stop Wall Street yet. Um... So yeah, we're going to warm it. I think it'll be a great match, don't get me wrong, but we don't really talk about it because it's obvious. Because right. some matches you know where they put the title on the line just to make it like a big, holy shit, like, oh, like to kind of sell tickets. Sure. I don't say WCBW like, do that, they're not like ticket baiters, but this one kind of is on the car. Like, you get me, like, because if you think on it, what did the brisk, like, if it was just a regular one on one match, it could go either way. But because right. it's for a Oh. Right. The ticket baiting. Anderson's a paid for you, but then why isn't the main champion's fucking card? I digress. Um, but anyway. Well, he's gonna be on the show, just not in a match. Yeah. Also, the one reason I like, obviously I went primate for the other match, but the one reason I think BT Gun's winning is because obviously we predicted that all t all chat time titles have been retained, and the title hasn't changed hands in WCPW for a while. Two weeks ago. 
fucking won it two weeks ago. War Machine. Good man. Um. <laughs> but. I was like, fucking. Oh, no, yeah, War Machine. They're new, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying. It I'm feels happy. like War Machine's been around forever, doesn't it? I'm just saying, War Machine, though, I'm really happy since they won the belt. They've been there every show. Right. Because it feels I'm, like they've been here forever. I I was worried that they would be that ta they would be that champion that kind of goes away, comes back. Oh, Cody Rhodes. Mm. But uh, Cody was fine. Not towards the end of his reign. Well, <laughs> mm. sure, I agree with that. But he was meant to make a couple shows before, but you know, due to you know Ow. Arrow, he couldn't we make the shows. So he was gonna make the shows, but he couldn't. Better than the shows he's meant to be on. So it's fine. Sorry. He, he, uh, I, I, I'm a, Arrow is one of my favorite TV shows, so I'm happy that he returned. I like his character in Arrow. Sure. Um. Uh, but anyway, we move on to uh, my match that will make me orgasm of the night. Um, Red Mister River versus Ricochet. This is a <laughs> hard one. Who the fucks who? I, like, will they give Ray the win because we don't see him going through tomorrow night? Like, right. What do they do? Because obviously they want to make Ricochet like. By the way, you're looking like you can't just make the argument that facing Re losing to Rey Mysterio is a bad thing because it's Rey Mysterio. So it's not like if they don't put him over, Ricochet won't look strong because it's put the best luchador and high flyer in wrestling. Period. Right. right. I commit to that statement. Um, but who do you go? Like, what do? I think. They are gonna go with Ray, cause like just something tells me I think, cause he's gonna lose to Will. Um, they wanna have him, you know, look good for the show, cause Ricochet faces uh in Helico. I I'd say Ray Mysterio versus Will Osprey is a much bigger deal than that. Um, People are forgetting about that match. People are like, oh yeah, that much on the co it's fucking Ricochet versus on Helico. I'm pumped. Right. Uh, like, uh, yeah, I think Ray is gonna win though. We talk about the week. Like, is there even a weak point on the round of sixteen card? Um, Joe Coffey is gonna be facing my favorite wrestler. Question mark? Question mark? Question mark? Is right. he back? Is he back? Question mark? Question mark? Question mark? Is back, boys? Yeah, he recently faced Alex Gracie in a losing assert effort. Uh, assert. Yep. Um. But, but no. question mark, question mark, question mark is back. You know him from such events as facing the Swords of Essex at Chain Reaction, or uh, Cody Rhodes at Chain Reaction. You know, so there that you go. That turned out to be Riddle, right? Huh? That turned out to be Matt Riddle, right? Right. Alright, uh, anyway, you know Mysterio too. Um, yeah, it's Mysterio. Yeah. Uh, Marty versus Will. Right. Um, they see her earlier at this very show. Hmm? They faced each other a year earlier at this very show. Yes, they did. Uh, WCBW have a boner for repeating matches. No, for... can I just have, like that, though? They've had, for each of their shows, they've had one match carryover. Sure, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, like, last, last time sort of let down and think Martin Kirby vs. Legaro was all, like, good. Uh, <laughs> Compared to their last match, maybe that's because they didn't have the fucking dress stipulation, which and is hilarious. And Stevie Aaron. Yeah, and Steve. Yeah, and and fucking Stevie Aaron. Uh, I forgot about that. God. Um, but like this match, hopefully there is no fucking shenanigans with the Prestige. But I know there will be. There will um, be shenanigans. Um, this is why they troll us all when they put they put, they uh, invite Gabriel Kid. <laughs> or Lucky Kid. <laughs> One of the kids. One of the kids is gonna be in the prestige. Get in here, kid. Um. But uh, man, it's hard to really tell who's gonna win, though. Uh, Marty's gonna... been on quite the hot streak in WCPW lately. So I'm gonna go Will. <sighs> the reason the reason I'm going Will, the reason I'm going Will, is because the prestige are obviously gonna try and trick Marty, and then they're going to think Will's on their side, if I go with what I think Will will then take off the t-shirt reveal like a Swords of Essex t-shirt crowd will pop, and then bang kick the shit out of the Prestige 
But I think Will will win the match first. Or a Bullet what? Club t-shirt. What? Or a Bullet Club t-shirt. Imagine! It, it won't happen, but... No, but just imagine... If that Please. actually... No, That's literally if, all I want to see now. <laughs> like... If that actually happened, though, he takes off the t-shirt and it's just Bullet Club. Jesus, oh, my heart. Um... <laughs> the crowd would lose that shit. Speaking of Bullet Club, Adam Cole, baby! Um... Hey man, we've already had a takeover of you. <laughs> For more of that, look at the podcast, hey. Eh? Um, but no. Let me get this Friday, I don't know when it'll be, I'll probably Saturday or Friday, we don't know yet, but it'll be, it'll be recorded on Friday. Actually, wait, no, I think we should record it on Sunday, because Sunday, because the finals of the World Cup is on Saturday, so we should probably record it on Sunday. So check back yeah, on yeah. the channel on Sunday, or Monday, check back on one of those days, there'll be a uh, one old Rump Down podcast episode too, that covers the Progressive World Cup, SummerSlam, and NXT TakeOver, and, uh, and Stacked. I don't know if I've said that already, but, uh, there will be a stack review, and there will probably be separate reviews for Pro Wrestling World Cup. Uh, so, yeah, check those out. Anyway, um... Did you just hear something? No, I didn't. No, no, me neither. Can I just say, I'm gonna go Will. Yeah, I, I'm gonna... Her. You know what? We're gonna end the night on a difference. I'm going Marty. Interesting. Can we just talk about, without piling upon, compared to last year, this stacked card is more stacked. Oh, yeah. 100%. Like, last year's stacked was a very good show. Like, very, like it had Bischoff. It Ooh. had EC3, Ligero, and Pete Dunne, which I kind of overlooked, but that match was incredible. It had Moose Joe Coffee, which was fantastic. I, I remember when Moose knocked over a fucking... Disabled person. And a guy in a wheelchair, but the guy in the wheelchair was a fucking beast. He took it like <laughs> a man. Yeah, um, and we had obviously that main event, but the, the, possibly one of the one of the best storyline things in WCPW history. Um, when when Joe Joseph Connor snaps at Joe Henry, you know, it was a really good show last year. Also, that women's last man, last woman standing match. Right, that was really good too. And by the way, <laughs> um. <laughs> I found out, by the way, I feel like I should just ring up on Twitter. You just reminded me bringing up the one of the last man standing match. Apparently, we aren't getting any, uh, we're not getting anything revolving around women until October. But WCBW have said that on their Twitter, and a few female WCBW fans have gotten upset with that. Uh, and, you know, you gotta remember, though, this week, <laughs> they're filming four weeks of Loaded, uh, you know, on the quarterfinal show, the final show, and the show in Sheffield where they're taping two episodes. That's four episodes in total. Oh, probably as well. Huh? Just to, just to update you, um, one of the hosts of the podcast is actually going to watch the May Young Classic, so that'll probably be in there briefly as well. Right. Um... Which will feature WCPW stars, such as Tessa Blanchard, Viper, and the women's shandy Is that it? Is that it for WCPW people? I can't remember. I think so. We'll come, on one of them. we'll come on one of them, I want one of them to win. <laughs> just, just one of them. Uh, but, whatever. I want JR to win the main young classic. That'd be nice. James Ellsworth. Let's get James Ellsworth in here. Let's have him on the May Young Classic. Let's put KSI in there with his moves. KSI. <laughs> oh, KSI be in the May Young Classic. He's got tits. Jesus. Anyways, that's stacked. Uh, don't know what we just ended it on, but uh. <laughs> but there you go. I hope you guys enjoy Stank. I hope you guys enjoy SummerSlam tonight. I do intend to put this video up today. Um, yeah, um, me and Robbie will not be doing any formal reaction to SummerSlam. No formal reaction, but we will have a review. Uh, actually, no, should we say the review for the podcast? Yeah, no, 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 no. We'll, we'll do a review for us. Uh, no! Huh? Oh, what's the reason to go into the podcast if we're just retreading old ground? But we're doing that with the World Cup and Stank, aren't we? Well, no, but that's exactly what the SummerSlam thing was fresh. <laughs> Alright, yeah, you're right, you're right. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy Stack, the World Cup, SummerSlam. Uh, have a good I week. We really hope. 
fan because we're kind of on the fence about it. I hope it's good. It has a lot to live up to. Thanks, NXT. Yeah. Um, From last night. I mean, yeah, as we said in our very detailed review, it was good. Yeah, it was very good. But, we already had a review on that. If you want our thoughts on NXT TakeOver, go back to the beginning of this video. Uh, thank you guys for <laughs> watching. And, uh, we will see you guys, um... Oh, shit! Tomorrow? What? I just remember I, I, I could lose my belt tonight. Oh. Yeah, you can. You know. So I could, I, so in the predictions, I could be round champion, but into the stat, I could be the underdog going for the belt again. <laughs> Imagine yeah. that you will, you will it for two days, and I get it back. Yeah. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, enjoy all the wrestling shows this week because there's a lot of them. And uh, yeah, and, and yep. until until next time, go fuck yourself. Goodbye. Hey. Bye.